Okay, hi everybody and welcome to the next screencast in this series on programming for psychology and vision science. So today we're going to be looking at how we can uh, draw things to the window. So this is a, a short lesson just with a, a couple of objectives where we want to understand this process of how we can draw stimuli to our uh, presentation window and also to be aware of this concept of window flipping and some of the implications that it has for how you construct your code and how you show your stimuli. Okay, so we're just going to switch over to Spider here. So where I've got it is where we left off in the previous lesson on getting started. So here we have some, some simple code that shows the text hello world to the screen. So let's just run it and see where we left things. We have the hello world shown and if we press a key, the program finishes. Okay, so in this code, we've created this stimulus via a text stim called text. And then to um, draw it to our window, we've used this function text.draw. So this is a, a going to be a familiar concept. So for lots of the different stimulus types we're going to use, the way that we can um, make them appear or make them available to appear on the screen is by using this, this draw function. But one really important point is that this draw function does not immediately make the stimulus visible in the window. So we can um, experience this if we go to our code here and we just skip this mysterious line here, win.flip. So I'm going to add um, this um, hash mark to the beginning of this line, which if you recall means a comment. So essentially that means that the rest of the line won't get executed by Python. So when we run it, this win.flip statement will not be executed. So if we save it and run this, you can see that now we have a, a blank window. So it's waiting for our, our key press, but we can't see this um, text. So we can't see hello world. So if we press a key, it'll finish. So why is that? So we've, we've drawn the text, we've used this text.draw, but it's still not visible. To make it appear, we have to, if we add back in this win.flip command and we run it, you can see that now that the text is visible again. So there's clearly something important about this win.flip command that's making what we've drawn be visible in the window. So what's, what's going on with this win.flip command? So one way that I like to, to think about this is as if the window has got two layers, one in front of the other. So when we're using this draw command, essentially what we're doing is, is asking Python to um, render this stimulus to the back layer. So because it's on this, this um, second layer that's behind the first, we can't actually see what we've done. So when we've, we've done all the drawing we want to do, so we've, if you like, we've painted this back layer, we're ready to see the results, we issue this flip command, which flips the layers around. So now this second layer that we've been drawing to becomes the layer in front, and the, what was in front now gets shifted into the background. So importantly, in this, this process, process of flipping, so when we flip around these two layers, what was um, in, visible on the window gets cleared when it goes into the background layer. So it, it takes on the color of the background without any uh, stimuli in it. So we can see this if now we add another couple of lines here where after they've pressed a key, we flip the window again and wait for another key press. So what this is going to do, it's going to draw our text, it's going to flip the window, we're going to wait for a key, then when we press the key it's going to flip the window again, wait for another key before finishing. So let's see what happens here. So if we press play, you see the first time through, so it's flipped, it's waiting for response, it's drawn the text. Now if I press a key, it's going to flip again, wait for a key press again. But the key point here is that when we've done this second flip, we can't see our text anymore. This is because having done the flip, 
it's cleared what's in the, the layer and it's just showing us the background. So it's important to think about what uh, stimuli you want to be shown when you um, issue a, a flip command. So one final point about drawing stimuli is that the order that we do the drawing matters. So more recent draw commands, so those that are closer to the win.flip statement, has the potential to overwrite what was drawn in previous commands. So for example, we could draw the text here, this hello world, in both black and in green. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this extra uh, flip command. So now after we've drawn it in white, so now we're going to, sorry, after we've drawn it in black, now we're going to change its color to be minus one, one, minus one. So this will give us a green color. Okay, actually let's go for a less severe green. So we'll have a, a mid green and we'll draw it again and then we'll flip. So now if we, we save and run this, we'll see that the, the text that we're seeing is the text that is in green. So we don't see this initial black text because the second draw command has overwritten that. Okay, so we can see this concept even more clearly if um, before we draw this green text, we offset its position slightly. Dot pos equals, so we're going to on, uh, offset its position one pixel to the right and one pixel up. So now you should be able to see there will be some regions where the green text is not overlapping the black text. So we should get a bit of a, a shadow effect here. So if we save it and run it, Okay, so you'll see that this didn't actually uh, do what I wanted it to do. So the green text is way up in the top right hand corner. So the reason for this is that we didn't specify the units of our window. So what we'll do is add in units equals pix. So now we're, when we're specifying the position, now one means one pixel whereas before one meaned the whole extent of the, the window. So now if we save it and run it again, now we'll see we have this slight dark um, edge to our text because we're not overriding that particular area of the window with our green text. Okay, so if we go back to our objectives. So we've learned a little bit about how we, how we are able to draw stimuli to the window and about this idea of window flipping. Okay, I'll see you in the next screencast.